Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I'd like to talk to you about H1, H2, H3 tags. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that terminology, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what that means for your website as far as SEO or search engine optimization goes. Sometimes there's controversy about search engine optimization, but I think most SEO experts will agree that Google still pays attention to H1, H2, H3 tags, etc. Let's talk about what that means. First of all, an H1 tag, an H stands for heading, is a kind of code that goes into your website that Google apparently looks for and likes to see, uh, we'll say, keywords or key content in. Now, a lot of web design platforms make it a little complicated for you to make H1 tags out of your text, but 90 Second Website Builder makes it pretty simple. Let me demonstrate. Simply grab the text tool and draw a box to make some text. Normally when you want to edit your text, you double click on it, of course, select it and go up here and make the changes you want to make. So if you wanted this to be Arial, Bold, 12, Red, or whatever, you'd change all of that here. But 90 Second Website Builder has built into it some presets that you can also edit. And those presets include H1, H2, H3 tags all the way to H6. I'll show you what I mean. If we were to choose an H1 tag for this particular piece of text that's selected, you'll see that it changes to this particular style. Now this is a heading text, but the code behind this, which is more important, is called an H1 tag. If we were to actually look at the HTML code that the uh, web design software just created, this would be called an H1 tag. And that's important because of search engine optimization purposes. It doesn't really make that big of a difference on the surface because you could have also just selected this text and made it Arial 24 bold. And on the surface, it would have come out the same. That's all this is. This is Arial 24 bold. But behind the scenes, it's called an H1 tag. And that does matter. So if you want to use H1 tags and it goes all the way through H6 for search engine optimization purposes, then it's really easy to do because of these features. But let me talk to you about how you can change that. So if you do want to use some of these pre-designed styles for your text, and they're set to different sizes, like I said, this is the H1. Let me show you what the H2 looks like. H2 is a little bit smaller. H3 smaller yet, all the way down to H6, which is just a regular Arial 12 plane. But you aren't stuck with Arial or these particular sizes if you don't want what you'll do is you'll use a feature called the Style Manager. So I'm going to click the Tools button here and bring up these uh, different settings. You can see one of them is called Style Manager. I'm going to bring that up. And I do have a video just about the Style Manager itself. So if you want more details on how to use that, uh, you can watch that video. But here I just want to talk about these headings. This is where you can change what your headings actually look like. So if I wanted to change my heading to not be Arial 24 or whatever, I can edit it here. Click on the edit button and it can change it to whatever I want. So right now it's set to be bold, Arial 24. You can change this to whatever you want. Any web safe font will do, which is what's listed here. And it doesn't have to be bold. It doesn't have to be 24. It doesn't have to be black or whatever. So this is where you would make those changes. That's pretty simple. And like I said, 90 Second Website Builder makes this 10 times easier than most web design platforms. You should just know the difference between using Arial 24 and using it as an H1 tag or an H2 tag will make a difference for search engine optimization purposes. Now, if you want to Google that, you might want to Google H1 tags for SEO and see the kind of articles that come up, especially more recent articles. And you'll see sometimes there's controversy about that. But for the most part, Google does pay attention to H1 tags and title tags and those kinds of things. And so this is how you do it in 90 Second Website Builder. There's more things you can do with the Style Manager. Again, watch the video about the Style Manager, and you can see uh, how you can make all kinds of presets. But for now, this is how you work with the H1, H2 tags. Very easy to do, and something you probably want to implement, especially on your index page or any page you want Google to find and rank in the search engines.